Picture this, you're in France sampling some of the world's finest cuisine and on closer inspection of the menu you discover that some of the meals have been microwaved or pre-prepared. That could be what you see on the menu in the future in France. A draft law plans to force restaurants to identify meals that have been prepared on their premises with a homemade label indicating that other items have been brought in or just warmed up. Well, any restaurant misusing the label would be fined. And marie Tomchak is in the world's newsroom with some genuine food lovers for us. I mean, gosh, this subject is an interesting one, isn't it? Lots of people commenting about it, Anne-Marie. The idea that you'd go to France and get a microwave meal it just seems a little bit unbelievable. It does because the French have a, a long-standing tradition of taking massive pride in their cuisine and uh, this new draft law, the, the Restaurant Federation in France, says that the idea behind it is to bring a bit more transparency and respectability into the restaurant industry in France. And I'm joined by a few foodies here that we found in the world's newsroom who can tell us a little bit more and share their thoughts on it. Stefan, who's a, a French man, and he's also the editor on Focus on Africa and a food enthusiast. Stefan, let's just begin with you. What do you think that this draft law says about the state of the food industry in France? Not sure about the food industry, but we need to dispel a myth. I mean, French cuisine has a long tradition, as you said. At the same time, working class families across the country do fast food like everywhere else in the world. Now, it depends what you want when you go to a restaurant. Do you want, you know, something quick and cheerful and go away? Or do you want to enjoy something with some added value, some real, you know, love in it? Yes, and if you do want that, I suspect you would be quite disappointed to learn or to hear that the food you've just consumed is in fact microwaved. Would that, you that be disappointed? Be terribly, terribly disappointed. Well, we've got lots of reaction about this on Facebook. Our followers on Facebook have been commenting, sharing hundreds of comments. But quite mixed. Um, Miles Lazy, he got in touch with us from New Zealand and he says, if they're to charge me a king's ransom for a restaurant meal, then I expect a meal fit for a king. And that means no pre-packaged meals. Another comment from Nick Clark in the UK. He says, it's, if it's clearly made known on the menu, then what's the problem? And finally, Nivaldo Jr. from Brazil wrote in saying, tradition is tradition. I guess restaurants that serve pre-prepared food are killing this old tradition. Well, Fuchsia Don Lapier, she is a, a trained chef. She trained over in China and she's a food writer and also a producer here in the BBC. Fuchsia, what are the trends now with preparing food in restaurants? Well, in China, when I first lived there 15 years ago, everything was made from scratch. You had your soy sauce, your sugar, your vinegar, and so on, and you made all your sauces. Now people are using more packaged sauces from Hong Kong, and also taking shortcuts on tricky things like dumpling making. So it all used to be done in-house, but now more commercial restaurants in the cities may be outsourcing, making little baozi, steamed buns, and so on, to commercial companies. So when you were in China, you mentioned that you were training as a chef and uh, making the dumplings from scratch with the fresh flour and it, that, that's not happening anymore so much is it? Well it's certainly happening in small places and in specialist dumpling restaurants but where you get a commercial restaurant that's trying to do a lot of things a chain perhaps at you know reasonable prices then you get people trying to cut corners because maybe it's too much trouble to have a pastry chef as well as a, as a wok chef. Well uh, that's all we've got time for but uh, you can get lots more on this on the world's newsroom bbc.com slash news and there's lots on our Facebook page do follow those comments that are coming in from our audience at bbc.com slash news. Amory, thank you very much and thank you to our team there as well. In the BBC Media Cafe, I wonder how many microwave mills are served there. Anyway, don't forget, you can of course get in touch with me and the team. I'm on Twitter at Babita BBC. Look forward to hearing from you. See you again soon. Goodbye.